go. <laughs> okay, we have Colonel Doug Wheelock here from NASA, and he is an astronaut. We're at the Reagan Social Media Conference in Las Vegas. Uh, I was so inspired by your presentation and your journey, not only in space, but in social media. Uh, could you share a little bit, uh, maybe a message to the business world? What, what do you sure. see the biggest advantage to social media? Well, I, I actually, I'm a test pilot by, by schooling and an engineer by trade, and so um, I was pretty reluctant to do this uh, social media, I, because I thought, you know, I, I looked at it, I thought, you know, <clears throat> you have to type 140 characters and laughs, and I, I wanted to kind of think that my life was a little bit deeper than that, and, and the experiences that I wanted to share with my friends and family and the, and the global public Absolutely. would be something a little bit deeper. What I didn't really understand is... Um, the way that uh, you can actually facilitate a fairly deep philosophical discussion just just by sending that initial tweet, and um, there was a couple examples when we were at, when I was in space. One of those were, and I work for the federal government right. for NASA, so, right. so we, you know, by um, by uh, by rule and by tr tradition, we we have a lot of inertia in our yeah. in our system as well. So so free expression of thought is um, is. Um, uh, is something that's not, it's encouraged, but it doesn't really happen a lot in the, in the space industry until now this advent of being able to act, access the internet for yeah. the International Space Station and then uh, in, engage in the social media. And so what we did was we, I took uh, and started tweeting photographs of, of our planet and of, of celestial activity. Amazing. And it was just uh, incredible. And so, but I, I would get to controversial issues like um, we flew over Madagascar and I noticed the deforestation in the middle part of the island oh. and how the how the rivers and streams coming off the island were just choked with mud and I took a picture of it and I just tweeted it and I think I all I all I said was I think where progress uh, and nature collide or something like that and it went viral and it wow. was within hours I had I think nine somewhere between 90 and a hundred thousand hits and um, responses and it be, it be it sort of launched this this um, pretty massive uh, global dialogue that's continuing wow. to this day because the, the tweet is still out there right so it keeps snowballing and it um, it just really engages people in in discussion and, and I think in the business world I think it can do just incredible things for the employees number one right. and for your customer as well so it's a it's a way to kind of get the word out there and I think it's it's a way to nurture and encourage like free expression of thought as well and um, and people have a new idea they can right. just tweet it and um, and discuss it discuss it in a in a sort of that type of forum and um, I really personally believe now I, I'm now I'm a believer a year ago I, I didn't but uh, now I have uh, almost a hundred thousand followers and um, I'm a believer now that um, that uh, you know this the social media I think I think we either we need to either embrace it or it's gonna blow right past us and Absolutely. so we're gonna be left behind and so so I would encourage you to to um, to just start tweeting or start uh, whatever like a Facebook uh, page or whatever it might be for your business right. and um, and just get involved and it's uh, I think it's a great way to uh, to really express yourself and really get uh, these uh, these great creative ideas out there right. in the workplace thank you very much thank you excellent